We're on Kedushin, Perik Aleph, Mishnah, Gimel. Third Mishnah in the first chapter of Masechet Kedushin. So now we learned about an Eved Ivri, a Jewish Eved, who was sold by Beitin into slavery in order to pay back his debt. What about an Eved Kenani? Kenani means a non-Jewish person who sold himself, who was sold into slavery and was acquired by a Jew. So the Mishnah says, Eved Kenani, Nikna Bekesef, he's acquired with money, Ubishtar, or with a contract, Ubechazaka. Or Chazaka means... He, he displays uh, behaviors of ownership, and it's, it's clear that, the, that, that he's owned by his, by his master. What is chazaka? Okay, so, and the Bartunura says that we learn out that an Eved, an Eved Kenani, is, is, compared to, is compared to karka, compared to land. And the way you acquire land is either kesa, pay money, pay by contract, or chazaka, or you display signs of ownership. So what's a sign of ownership? Cheska to Eved. He untied his master's shoes, or he tied his shoes. He brought him his, his clothing to the, to the Beit HaMerchaz, to the bathhouse. He he undressed him, he washed him, etc., etc. He did all the things. If this, if this Eved did something that demonstrates that he's now the Eved, he's the servant of the master, that's Chazaka. Because then he becomes acquired. He told him to you, now he acts like the Eved. But how can he reacquire himself? So this is a machloket. So he can acquire himself, meaning how does he require himself? If someone else pays money to the to his master, okay? Or ubishtar, if you want a contract, al atzmo. He himself must be given the contract where his it's like a get. So he says, you know, you are free. Divrei Rabbi Meir. That's Rabbi Meir. So kesef achirim, somebody else has to pay, or shtar al atzmo has to be given to himself. Nobody, you can't. The master can't give a contract to somebody else saying I free my slave. That's Rabbi Meir's opinion. The Chachamim or Mim Chachamim say no. The Kesef al Yedei Atzmo, money he can pay back himself. Nobody, not, not somebody else pays the money, but he can pay himself. Ubishtar al Yedei Achirim, but the Shtar, the contract, has to be given to somebody else, not the Eved himself. And what about Kesef? Ubilvajia Kesef Mishal Achirim. The Kesef, the money must come from somebody else. So what in the world is going on? So of course I looked at the Bartunura and then made you a chart. Okay, so the chart. Let's uh, let's just underline this. Okay, the whoop, word is actually funny today. Okay, that here we are. There is the chart. Mm, okay, so we have Rabbi Meir. Let me just put this down a little bit. Rabbi Meir said, the Kesef but not Somebody else has to acquire the money. Why? Because Rabbi Meir says, Ain kinyan le'eved b'shum sad b'lo rabo. Right? If you give money to the Eved, mashakana Eved kana rabo. So as soon as you give that money to the slave, here, take, take this quarter, I give it to you. You give it to the Eved, the Eved takes it, oh, I got a quarter. No, you don't. That belongs to his master. So therefore, the Eved can't acquire money. So therefore, somebody else has to pay for the Eved. But a shtar al yedei atzma, why does, the, why does the master have to give the shtar to the Eved? Because he holds, It's not a good thing for the slave to be freed, because let's say the, uh, the owner was a Kohen. So therefore, the Eved can eat truma, but as soon as he's free, he can no longer eat truma. And since it's bad, since ideal, since in the, real, in, the, in the world it's bad for the Eved, you can't do bad things to people without doing it in front of them, with their knowledge. So therefore, you have to do it ayyade atzmo. On the other hand, Chachamim say exactly the opposite. They don't say the opposite, because of ayyade atzmo and ayyade achirim, but even ayyade atzmo. Why? Because they hold yesh kinyan the eved below rabo. The eved can acquire money without, without his master acquiring it. We'll see in which circumstance. Normally, if the eved finds money, it belongs to his master. But there is an ability, yesh kinyan. But the shtar, ayyadei achirim, you can even give it to achirim. Why? Because they say, no, it's not a chova because of the truma. Because we say he won't eat truma. So what? It's good for him to go free. And you can do people favors even if it, without their presence. So therefore, how is a yesh kin, the ever can have kinyan? Let's go back to the Mishnah. But the Chachamim said, yes, you can kev it, kesef ayyadei Shtar can give to other people. But the money can't come from the Eved. It has to come from somebody else. The Bartanur explains. Okay, she knew who lo, they can give him the money. Meaning, if I give money to an Eved without saying anything, I give him the money, so, oh, the money belongs to the Rabbi. It immediately goes to the master. But if I say to Eved, here, I'm giving you this money on the condition that it's yours and not your master's, that is effective, and then it's the Eved's money. That's what the mission is saying. The money goes from somebody else, and then it can be bekesef al yedei atzmo. Okay, it's a little bit of a complicated mission. I hope you were able to explain it well. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to uh, send me an email. 
Our word is actually really strange. Send me an email to, to rspolter at gmail.com. There we go. And we'll dedicate our learning to everybody, my father, Rav Simcha, and Yitzchak Kalman. Have a great day.